hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells now today we'll be doing a body wave wig install and i'm going to custom color this wig a light uh, burgundy color um and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how i install it now this is a 24 inch body wave wig from cry your hair company and this is what the wig looked like fresh out of the bag it is a natural brown wig um the lace is transparent it is a uh, pre-plucked but i'm going to go ahead and do this quick um hair color transformation now um what i did to get the wig bleached to brown is i did the water uh bleaching method which i showed you guys in my last tutorial so i'm not going to show that step in this video but i am going to show you how i got the custom burgundy color and also um, tell you how I prevented the lace from staining red because that is a big mistake that um, I've even made in the past and I know a lot of people have issues on how to uh, not stain the lace you know stain the lace when they're doing the watercolor method especially with red hair so for starters what I did um, as I mentioned I you know water bleached the wig to get it a color four and I took some you know regular hot faucet water um, and I filled up my sink with that hot water and I used two of the crimson color um, Adore bottles and poured that into the water. And then I took my comb and also my hand as y'all can see because it's red. And I started, you know, to mix it up. And you want to mix it up until there is no clumps in the water. I come to believe that um, the clumps in the water is what stains the lace. So make sure you... Um, mix that mixture up really really good and there is no clumps or lumps of color mixed in the water and then another thing that I did as well is I did not um, put the lace underneath the water um, uh, well at least not right away what I did was um, I just kept dipping the wig in and out of the water um, up to the hairline but I did not put the lace completely under water until most of that color was like soaked into the wig and you know when you do the watercolor method the water does fade once the wig or the bundles takes you know up most of the color so once the wig did um take up most of the color and the light the water was very faded that's when i started to dip the lace completely under the water and i just did it really really quickly do not and i repeat do not let the lace sit under the water for any type of minutes like you do not want to do that at all because that is what i think that really makes that lace change color so i did not let the lace sit underneath the water for no amount of time i just kept dipping it really quickly just in and out you know making sure that color get the roots of the wig and once i got the desired color that i wanted i went ahead and washed the wig out with cold water and i also shampooed and conditioned the wig with um cold water as well and i used the tresemme shampoo and conditioner so if you follow those steps you should have no problem with any um you know stained lace or anything and i do not have to bleach the knots because i know someone is going to ask because once you do the water dye method and it bleaches the hair, it also bleaches the knots for you as well. So after I just water dyed it, all I had to do was go ahead and pluck. And if you needed a quick plucking tutorial, I also have that up on my last uh, tutorial that I posted. So you could go ahead and check that out. But this is the final look of the color. And of course, it looks darker while it's wet. But once it's blow dried, it will be lighter. And as you can see, the lace is not stained whatsoever. I'm still giving you the full um, transparent lace color and the knots still look good. And all I did was, you know, blow dry the wig and just pluck the hairline some more. And um, for the install video today, I will be using my cousin uh, Asia. Yes, I have a sister Asia, then I have my cousin Asia. So I will be using my cousin, uh, my cousin Asia today. Um, and I will be showing you all of the products that will be on the December 20th restock, you know, at midnight. So make sure you guys pay full attention to this video. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned and we're going to get right to it. So for starters, I went ahead and did my ball cap method. I cleaned her hairline with my lace prep alcohol and I also... Um, you know, did the ball cap method and then sprayed her hairline with my beautiful hustlers scalp protectant. And now I'm just taking um, the Honey Beige Color Foundation from the Kiss brand palette, cream palette, and I'm just applying that on the inside and on top of the lace. 
and I'm gonna go in with my mega large bottle of my lace made adhesive and begin to apply my layers. Now the key to getting a easy, clean glue application is to just, once you apply that glue, you want to spread it out as flat and as smooth as possible. You do not wanna have any clumps or lumps um, in your glue after you apply it to the scalp and into the skin. So just make sure you are taking your dual, um, you know, your dual kit edge brush, the one with the spreader on it, and just spreading that glue out really nice and flat. And that will help your glue turn clear as quickly as possible. And for her install today, I did, uh, you know, I did do four layers, but I'm going to show you two on camera because it's just, you know, repetition. But before I lay the wig down, I will show you um, how clear the adhesive does turn and that's when you know your lace is ready to be laid down. So now that that lace is clear, um, I'm going to go ahead and begin to pull the lace down into the glue and you just want to add some pressure with your fingertips or you can use your rat tail comb and just push that lace right into the glue, comb it in, uh, you know, whatever technique you're going to use and once it's laid down, you just want to have them hold it into place and then um, I'm going to take the comb and the blow dryer on the heat setting and just melt that lace into her skin. And I also um, will follow that same um, process with the glam wax and the hot comb before we actually tie it down with the melt belt. So stay tuned. that melt belt sit for about five minutes i'm gonna go ahead and remove it and i'm just adjusting the camera so you guys can get a you know more closer look but now i'm gonna take my scissors and just cut the extra lace from around the ears and then i'm gonna go in with my new product new item alert um the beautiful hustler lace gliders and this is a a razor that also has a comb on the opposite end that way you can uh, razor off your lace and use the teeth of the comb to press your lace in as you razor it off and as always i get this question and i said many times in my videos people ask why do i um you know pull the hair down in the center and that's just the extra lace that's not needed that has to get cut off but here is our lace glider up close and personal and i have this in the pink color and in the black color of course the brand colors so you will you know you will be able to purchase these items as well on the december 20th restock at midnight so um also i know you guys wonder am i gonna have packages for everything yes i made some packages for you guys and i think you're going to love them you can get a lot of things you know a lot of the items in the different packages so make sure you have on your notifications and your timers because december 20th midnight is going down our lace gliders to cut off that extra lace and push the lace in now i'm going to take the rat tail comb and apply the um some more adhesive under the little cracks that is still not tacked down all the way and you do not want to skip this step make sure you tack everything down so you can get your maximum hold um, for your installation and um for the style today i did do a side part with some curls now the trick to how i achieved this look i pretty much wand curled the whole back of the head and the sides of the head but i sectioned off two parts in the front and i used my stove curler to curl it to give it you know that roller set look but i honestly feel like with the wand curls in the back the curls will last longer because you know roller set curls drop quicker but wand curls you know wand curled curls actually last longer but you guys will see that later on in this video 
and I will also be showing you guys how I created the baby hairs for this look as well so um, I know you guys will be looking forward to that so just keep watching this video and after I you know finish taking down this wig I will get into you know parting the hair off pulling down the baby hair section um, you know using a holding spray and retying down that lace with the melt belt But do y'all see how melted this wig is already and how pretty this color is? Like, I absolutely love, like, the burgundy family, like, the 99J, the dark burgundy, the light burgundy. Like, especially when you don't have to necessarily buy the wig's color. Because, you know, color wigs cost more. But if you could just follow these simple steps that I showed you, you should be able to achieve this hair color like with no issue and the best thing about achieving uh burgundy colors or 99j family colors is that your wig does not have to bleach blonde like all you need is your wig to get at least a nice color for and once you apply the brightest red that you can find it will automatically come out like a nice bright um you know burgundy or a light 99j so I'm just loving this color and I'm also loving the quality of this lace because it's very giving, you know, it's giving very much scalp tease. And even after the whole coloring process with the water bleaching method and the dyeing of this wig, like this wig is still silky, it's still very soft and it was easy to pluck the hairline. Like I literally have no complaints about this wig. So um, let me know what you guys think down below though on like this color and this look overall. So now that we are tying that melt belt again, I'm going to go ahead and section off the area. And I told you guys I did one curl the back and I'm going to curl the front with the stove curler. So I sectioned off a piece in the front and everything that I'm plaiting will, curl, will be curled by the stove curler. And I'm just going to repeat the same step to the other side. And everything else that is left out in back will be wand curled and I will be using um, you know, my big size wand curler and just you know, curling it up quick and easy not going for perfect wand curls because they're going to get brushed out anyway but just you know curled enough to give off that look
Here's a preview of how big I curled it, and this is when I finish all sides. Just some big uh, loose curls because they're gonna get brushed out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that melt belt and cut off the section for the baby hairs because before I actually, ooh, look at that, <laughs> scalp and melt it. Before I actually do the top or the last, you know, curls in the front, I do wanna go ahead and get my baby hairs slayed and laid and out the way so I don't have to move the curls out the way to finish up the you know the rest of the styling part and i took my lace glider as you can see and i just raised it down those baby hairs well the hair to you know about an inch or shorter and i'm just going in with my edge brush and i'm just swooping the baby hair to my liking and the technique that i'm using and i told you guys i was going to go back to this technique because you know it lasts way longer like your baby hairs will last way longer i'm um, using that gel method so i am using the got to be gel and I'm just applying it or tapping the edge brush right into that gel and just swooping the baby hairs. Um, you know, I'm doing regular swoops to me and then for the sideburn area, I will do the little curl to baby hair look. So to me, these are regular baby hairs, nothing fast, you know, fascinating or exotic to me, but when I posted this um, install on my Instagram, like people was going crazy for the baby hair. So, you know, to each his own, I guess it's the color that makes things more, you know, extravagant or whatever. But I'm just going to go ahead and get these baby hairs swooped and then we will finish the rest of the curls and then you guys will see the finishing look. So stay tuned. And the baby hairs are laid in that song, period. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove those plaits and just add those little curls in the front. Now, as you can see, guys, um, I'm just taking my stove uh, Marcel curler and I'm just gonna curl those little, you know, last remaining pieces out really, really quickly. Now, I did not feel like doing all the wrist work <laughs> today, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, it was already late when we made this video. So that's why I decided to do the wand curls, but I actually like it better overall with the wand curls being in the back and then the stove curlers in the front. So all I did was just, you know, let my curler heat up in the stove in my um, golden hot uh, stove and, you know, just let the curler sit for a little bit if the stove is already like burning hot and you just could go ahead and curl the hair away from the face. Um, if you wanna curl it towards the face, you know, that's you and your client's preference. But for me and the look that I wanted to create it, you know, create, I curled it away from the face to give off that roller set soft lip 
soft look, <laughs> soft look type of feel. that everything is all curled up all we have to do now is just you know tease the curls out and just make everything blend like i absolutely love this color on her and y'all know like <laughs> my cousin she does not like color and if you feel like she looks familiar it's because she's um dating the rapper hot boy um you know they've been together forever since before the thing and this is my little cousin here so Yes, I know a lot of people have a lot of families. Some people don't even realize it, but we're all connected. But <laughs> anywho, um, so yes, my cousin Asia hates color. Like, she hates color. And she was really nervous about this color. But I'm like, girl, when you sit in my chair, you don't have a choice on what I'm going to do. You just going to get it done. And that goes for sisters, cousins, friends. Like, give me full creative you know leisure and we just gonna work up some stuff in a lab so i absolutely love this color on her and she did all that selling out about the color and she actually loved it so i love this install i love this color i love the quality of the wig and the overall look was just bomb so only thing that's left to do now is just you know conceal the part so i'm going in with that same um honey beige foundation and just cleaning that part up and pretty much that is the end of this tutorial let me know what you guys think about the completed look down below uh try out the one curls in the back and then the curls in the front and it will save you so much more time but love you guys thank you for tuning in and i will see you guys on the next video in our color series bye